everyone, I'm Dr. Katlyn Tucker and I am back with the data-driven design cycle. The last video we were talking about data-driven design was really focused on using pre-assessment before we get into designing the actual lesson or sequence of lessons to better understand where our individual learners starting in their learning journeys related to specific concepts and skills that are at the heart of a particular unit or learning cycle we're about to embark on. The next phase of it, so we take pre-assessment data and we use that to inform our lesson design, where hopefully we're using the principles of universal design for learning, really striving to make learning accessible, inclusive, and equitable, and combining it with the power of blended learning models like the playlist model and station rotation model so that we're really allowing students more control over the pace and the path of their learning because the pre-assessment data is likely to show us that because they're starting in different places they're going to need different things and they're going to need different levels of support instruction models etc so as students are navigating the lessons that we've designed that are very proactively trying to remove barriers provide flexible pathways. We also want to be thinking about what checks for understanding, what formative assessment data are we building in to our lessons to understand how successful are they at helping students make progress towards specific concepts, um, really understanding how to apply specific skills. So building in kind of checks for understandings, kind of building those mechanisms right into the lesson itself as part of the lesson structure. So as an element in the playlist model or as a concluding activity in a station is really critical to help us just keep a sense of how are these lessons serving students? And are we noticing that some students are making great progress us, others not so much who might need something more from us within the design of future lessons. So when we think about formative assessment, it should be informal, so it's not going in the grade book. It should be an ongoing part of our practice embedded into the lessons itself. And it's a really wonderful tool for us as teachers to start to make adjustments to better meet the needs of learners. And hopefully, when possible, we make this formative assessment available to the students as well so they can understand and reflect on their progress. So there's lots of different ways we can build formative assessment strategies right into the fabric of our lessons. We might have students, you know, complete a non-graded quiz of some kind where we're asking a series of questions just to see how much are they understanding and retaining. We might even use one of those kind of digital games like a Kahoot or a Socrative to kind of test what are students understanding in more of a gamified way, but where we can collect that data. I love a good tell me how. So if you're a math teacher and you're trying to get students to really understand the mathematical concept and process, challenging them to record a video. So I love the platform Flip for this, or maybe it's in, you have a video recording tool embedded in your learning management system, which is great as well. But challenging students to walk you through a series of steps or a process in a tell me how format. So it's not about giving the correct answer, it's about helping us to get a window into their thinking to make sure it's nice and solid. Then we have explain it in your own words. And I'm a big fan of explain it like you're telling a five-year-old about this concept. So really putting it in your own words and simplifying it as much as possible. Can you explain this concept? Can you demonstrate your understanding? You could also have them, you know, if they're doing offline work, so often when students are labeling something or they're working through a set of problems, just having them take a picture, post it to your learning management system, or post it to a Padlet wall where you have all the students' pictures in one place, and you can visually reference how are students doing, what are we noticing in terms of gaps or misconceptions or areas of strength for the class, and then also just your simple exit ticket, right? End of class, let's just get a read in the room, how are students doing? What are they understanding? So really becoming committed to embedding these formative assessment strategies into our lesson is going to help us to better understand how well these lessons that we're designing are actually serving students and helping them all make progress toward firm standard aligned goals.